here we have three sets for which we'd like to find various unions and intersections. The first problem is asking us to unite sets X and Y. That means we join these two sets together, and if there are any duplicates, as we see here with the negative tens and the negative eights, we only write them once. So we are going to have the set negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, and negative 4. When we find the intersection of sets x and y, we are asking for those values or elements that are common to each set. Their overlap, so to speak. And we've already highlighted that at negative 10 and negative 8, we have an overlap situation. In this third part, we wish to combine together set x and z, and we see that there is no duplication between these two sets, and so their union will be basically the com combination of the two sets. That is, and it's a larger set, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. We cannot use ellipses and just say, oh, from here to there, because when we are listing out this set as a roster, we basically have to write each of the elements. When we go to find the intersection of x and z, there is none, so we have the empty set or the null set. Now, as far as sets y and z are concerned, let's go back up and look at y and z. We have a little bit of an overlap with the negative 6 and with the negative 4. So I'm going to go first and fill in that intersection in part f. The intersection is going to be at negative 6 and negative 4. The union is going to be what we get when we join the two sets together only writing the negative 6 and negative 4 once each. So we will have the set of negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. This next illustration shows how we can depict unions and intersections graphically. Here we have sets D and E, and we want to find their intersection. Their intersection is where the two overlap. And if you will notice, both of these sets overlap between 2 and 4 inclusive. And that's why this third number line has the region between and including the endpoints of negative 2 and 4 drawn out for you. When you are finding the union of sets D and E, we are joining them together, and set D has everything going to the left, set E has everything going to the right, and we include their intersection, which gives us all real numbers for that combination. So our next problem asks us, with these sets, find the indicated uh, intersections and unions. So let's begin by drawing out each of these sets graphically. Set M is all values greater than or equal to negative 3. So we will have negative 3 with a solid dot and everything shaded to the right drawn in. For set N, this will be all values greater than or equal to 5. So a solid dot is drawn at 5 and we shade the interval to the right of it on the number line. And set P is going to be all values less than 0. We do not include the 0, so we have an open circle on the number line. And we shade all values to the left. Now we have three visual representations of these sets for which we can find the unions and intersections. In part A, we are asked to unite set M and N. Well, basically, their union becomes all values greater than or equal to negative 3. And so that will be the set of all y values such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. They intersect, however, 
at 5 and to the right. So the intersection for part B will be the set of all y values such that y is greater than or equal to 5. In part C, we're asked to deal with M and P and find their union. Well, they overlap in the center, and P heads off to the left, and M heads off to the right. So when we unite these two sets together, we get all real numbers. And since this symbol already refers to the set of all real numbers, we do not have to write set notation. Their intersection in part D is going to be the set of all y values between negative 3 and 0. And since we are including the negative 3, we'll have an equal to on that portion of the inequality. Our problem E, we're joining N and P together. And basically, we're going to have a two-part answer. The set of all y's such that y is less than 0 or y is greater than or equal to 5. When you look at sets n and p, which I'm showing up here again, there is no intersection between these two sets. So their union, or sorry, their intersection will be the empty set or the null set.